What up, what up, what up? How you doing, folks? Welcome, it's Jake here. Let me just play around with this a little bit. Guys, I'm gonna make y'all jealous, all right? My amazing wife made these amazing cosmic brownies. Let me tell you, it's banging. So, you know, I'm gonna enjoy some brownies while we wait for some more folks to pile on in here. So good. That stuff right there sticks to your ribs. Good for you. Alrighty. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now let's go ahead here. What's up, Raymond? How you doing there, pal? Good to see ya. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw a command up in chat there so i can pin the message to the top bam all righty so ladies and gentlemen we are going to be checking out a new map here so a couple of things um to go over i've decided i am leaving chat open um for anybody um i'm kind of gonna steal boneheads kind of spiel here um be respectful um this is a family friendly channel moderators have the final say on what happens to you um so three strikes you're out eating some pizza before you do stuff man that's the that that's awesome i had flounder tonight and it was it was top notch you know what i'm saying i had some flounder i had i had some pasta and I had um green beans. Gotta eat your veggies, folks. Eat your veggies. Uh anyway. Yeah, so happy Monday night, y'all. Um hopefully y'all had a fantastic Monday. Mine wasn't too bad working. Um some really, really exciting things um i don't know i'm a nerd so uh wwdc was today worldwide developers conference uh at apple amazing products there make sure you go ahead check it out folks definitely stuff to get excited about 100 percent. that is awesome raymond i'm glad to see you're nearly 100 percent. glad to see you're still here uh kicking it with me here um let's give it a few more minutes just chilling and hanging out with everybody hope y'all are uh, doing well uh let's go ahead here um i'm gonna go ahead and create a poll and uh, yeah uh Oh, I'm glad it wasn't, buddy. I'm creating a poll. There we go. There you go. There's our poll, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to leave that up till about halfway through the stream, and then y'all will get my thoughts on that question there. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and check out what we got going on here. Go ahead and leave the screen up there for a little bit. So, we're checking out a beautiful map here by MRG Mapping. Uh, let me go ahead and read the description here. Little Mountain, Utah. Uh, let's see. So, um, uh, you need JMS Animal Crane. Which, actually, I definitely need to get downloaded and installed. Alright, 
Uh, let me go ahead and move that guy into my mods folder. So you're definitely going to need, so this is a PC only map here, folks. Um, let's take a quick gander around here. Um, and let's all right and let me go back Alrighty, so we need animal crane in order to move cattle from one pen to the next on the dairy farm Monora spawns inside most of the pens except for the large dairy barn where it spawns in the pit pen spawn solid manure only one farm produces milk the rest are dry cow lots uh, dairy, barn dairy barn spawns liquid manure as well as solid. This spawns in the pit. There are two places to load your slurry tanker slash spreader. You can use Jono's uh, GA Huel manure pump on the north side of the tank or the pumps and hoses on the south side of the tank. Uh, there is a video there for uh, help getting that set up. Um, works best with enhanced animal system. Um, we are, he's still working on implementing clover and soybean straw. Uh, there is a train on the map. Um, but from what I can tell folks, it is, Ray, did you bring me more coffee and donuts? Did you bring me more coffee and donuts, Ray? My guy, you are a legend. An absolute legend, my friend. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Um, so, thoroughly excited to be checking out this map with y'all here. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, so, at some point, I will have to get the um, Animal Cane installed into the game. So, I'm going to go ahead and take off the camera here for a few moments while I, one, enjoy my Cosmic Brownie uh, that my wife made, and two, um, yeah, so you guys can get a full view of the map as we kind of discover it here together and see what is in store. Um, so, without further ado, here we are, start screen, let's get on into it, bam. And we're going to leave it just like that, even though we are in Utah. Raymond, thank you. Just what I needed, my dude. Um, for right now, we are going to go ahead and do the auto drive. So, here we go. It looks like, let's take a look at the PDA. there is your map so definitely one thing really cool if you have the pivots mod installed um you have your circular fields there there's a total of four of them on the map for you to take a gander at let's see what all we got here looks like we own uh field one or farmland one I don't know, so field two is basically all of the roads and systems and all the other stuff there. Which you can, we're going to buy that for zero dollars. Hey, why not, right? Um, let's go ahead and we are, do we have any equipment? Let me fix this here. And as of right now, our poll is 50-50 on pineapple on pizza. Um, okay, let's take a look here. Do we own anything? So you don't actually start out with anything in new farmer mode. Uh, as far as vehicles, um, let's see. We need to go this way. Uh, down to the farm here. So let's go ahead and do that quick.
this is a really really gorgeous looking map though if it, uh from what i have seen and i can't wait to actually check it out for myself um and get into the gameplay here a little bit let's see what we got on field one there now it is taking a little bit of time to load in and render but we are rocking and a rolling here Alrighty, so soil Mitch walking and I don't want to spend any money right away just till I see kind of what we have going on Uh-oh Uh-oh Hoonigan farmer is not gonna like this Well, technically it's an international dealership not a case dealership It's an international so not a case but an international farm all tractors and parts come on there you go now you done did it right folks yep uh-huh look look at so classy dude classic and you can just walk right through the building there not too shabby what's what's through here oh just an empty room i feel like you could do so much more with it uh missing a collision or two there Alrighty, looks like we got the dairy here. Yeah, it's some dairy air, isn't it, lads? I'm just playing. Just a playing. Alright, so starting out, looks like field one is the one that we own. Let's just take a frolic through the uh, field here. Alrighty, so we are coming up on the main farm here. So it appears. Alrighty, so this is going to be the main farm. Uh, looks like we have a couple of the Welker uh, sheds. Not too shabby. And I do like Welker's farms sheds they're they're very nice um everything works on them and we do have the garage right in here so basically everything you'd expect from the walkers shed pack there not much else going on though so um let's take a quick meander around here um right now 100 and that is some really fertilized it's 181 percent fertilized um awesome let's uh step up into here i don't think we have anything planted in here um, let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA, see if there's where we are. So it is cultivated, um, and we would just need to just let that load up. And the game crashed awesome love it dude let's see if we can get it back like zoinks mm-hmm i wonder i wonder mm-hmm let's take a quick look here um i was gonna look at the logs and see all right so we're gonna go ahead and relaunch that though in farm manager well no let's let's go uh wrong one 
Give me one sec here. <clears throat> Still 50-50 on the question of the day. Head and go ahead and delete that there. All right, and let's go here to farm manager. Okay, go back through and turn off plenty of mods here. Can turn auto drive off for now. And where is you? There you go. Ah, uh, yes, Brian. Hop on in here, buddy. Hop on in. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, DJ? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. VC is open air brand. As long as you're feeling muy bueno. Uh, let's see here. Had to had it open, guys, and it just crashed. So, have to kind of go back through and turn off some mods all right youtube's being youtube again is fantastic um okay Make sure I turned off one more wee little setting. Ooh, what you got for Twitch, DJ? Alright, here we go, lads. Oh boy. Oh boy. Haha. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Still 50 50 for the all right. That's the that's the uh that's the friendship defining question of the century right there, folks. I am telling you what. Guys, don't mind me. I'm eating my cosmic brownie. My wife made brownies. What up, Trio? How you doing, buddy? You caught me. Yeah, let's go. Question of the day. Pineapple on pizza. Waiting on the map to load, guys, and then I'll bring you right back in. Alrighty, so Ooh, what the world? Go ahead and go with that and then we're gonna go right there. And we're gonna go here and I'm gonna go here. Let me show you guys. Boom. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. With the birds, with the birds, ladies and gentlemen, with the birds. Hey, Hi. buddy. Hey, what's up? How you doing, man? Oh, I got laryngitis. Oof. You should not be yeah. talking there, bud. <laughs> really? 
Like, take care yeah. of yourself. <laughs> you really Dude. should should just like. You know what you need, bud. You need you need some uh, some Jack. I need some grandpa's old cough medicine. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. All right, so, um, let's see. We are looking at ooh, crop type missing field. Yes, he does know. Now this is probably a very um. Like he said, who's in VC? It's firefighter. It's yeah, it's Brian, <laughs> who pretty much sounds like he's, you know, dying. <laughs> we don't want to say that. Listen, listen, Brian over here sounding like an eighty-year-old grandmother. <laughs> That's terrible. Shut up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, Yo, tell me, reason. tell me why it's shown that this field is 180 percent fertilized. Something's a little wonky. <laughs> Trio, I can't with you. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Jay Meister. <laughs> no, get out of here, yeah. guys. We're back to 50 percent on the poll there. This is a friendship defining question right here, folks. <laughs> friendship defining question. We got three likes and six people watching. Guys, smash that like button for me. It's free. It don't cost you a dime. Might cost you a nickel. Just kidding. But it don't cost you a dime. just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Oh. So we own that field right there. Now, what I was doing when we got it to crash, we were looking <laughs> at who's this guy? <laughs> Who is this guy? Who are you talking about, Hoonigan? Eh, he's Brian. Okay, uh, Hoonigan. It's Brian. It's firefighter. And it crashed again. Would you look at that? All right. So, um, that might have been nothing but crashing on people today. Really? Kind of yep. annoying. So I'm going to actually, I want to look at the log here. Warning. Error, <laughs> oh my just gosh. Being Bro, yeah. It is It is just, just. <laughs> Holy cannoli. Holy cannoli. He's just being, hey. Well, new map time. I appreciate yeah. your honesty, though. <laughs> Let's see. Um, My daughter sounded like when I was laughing. She says, you sound like the Wicked Witch of the West. Do it again. Arguing should be <laughs> name, class name, file name, custom environment. There are too many arguments for the specialization manager. Okay. Data scripts. Mod. Let's see. Holy cannoli. <laughs> You guys should look at the log here. Holy, John Deere is fine. Let's see. I could not find. Okay. <clears throat> well, we're about to just go back to my game type. Yeah, you might as well. My game from yesterday, because I'm not going to be <laughs> dealing with the map crashing on me the entire time. Yeah. I'm looking here. No cannoli, why? No cannoli, why? No cannoli. You want a cannoli? Let me tell you. Yeah. Trio's trying to be a tough guy. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting mad. Oh, yeah. Me. Yeah, the map is just like full of errors. Index not found. Anyway, all right. So that uh, that that answers quite a few questions for me. Uh, no trio. It was Little Mountain, Utah. We're going back to 
Uh oh. <laughs> Hoonigan, what happened with your uh what happened there, bud? <laughs> nope, we're going back to um our farm build there on um Chilliwack. Yeah. That's awesome. Right. I'm going to bed, dude. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, buddy. You take care. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> later. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Anywho, what's it to you? Anyway. Oh, Streamlabs is having issues. Love it. Like it, it won't load for you, Hoonigan? Trio coming in with a nice buddy. I appreciate it. Ah, yeah, I tell you what, Hoonigan, been there. It can get a little tough sometimes. Um, and I think, you know, just to be real, sometimes just taking a break, taking a step back is is healthy for you. Um, you know. Taking that step back every now and then. Letting. Giving yourself that space to kind of recollect. Get motivated. Um, not letting yourself get super burnout. You know bud. So listen. Been there dude. I have sat down to try and record a video. Uh, for quite a while. And dude. Everything just, I sit down and immediately I'll start recording and I'll just get demotivated, dude. And I like, I'm hoping I can start recording again and get some fresh content out. Um, so we'll see. I'm hoping within the next few weeks I can start putting out some more content. Um, so, yeah, if your Hickory Valley is is where you're kind of putting all your time and energy, there's something to that. So, you know, put all your time and effort into that, and you can always come back to that American farmlands. So, definitely just, yeah, if I were to encourage you, if you need to take a break from American farmlands, dude, do it. Focus don't try and force yourself into doing something just to create content, right? You're not going to do your best work if you're not motivated to do it. That's all I got. That's, <laughs> that's all I can really, really give you for advice. Hey, we do advice, guys. It is free. So, you know. But I hope that helps, Hoonigan. I hope that helps, buddy. Alrighty, so we are here. Um, so it is currently nighttime here uh, on Chilliwack. But as you can see, it is lit up like the night sky. Lit up like the daytime here. I'm pretty.
pretty sure it's due to legacy <laughs> sheds. So, yeah. Yeah, and if you're having fun on a series, dude, like, that's fantastic. That is um, where you put it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Keith. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, let's look at this. It is, it is like daylight out here. Um, and it is 1045 at night. And you know who again? Maybe you just do time lapses. And that's totally cool too. Alrighty then. So. Yeah. It is bright. Um, yeah. I. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's take a look in her. YouTube is broken anyway. I agree, DJ. 100%. Five likes, five viewers. Thank you all so much. I appreciate y'all. Um, let's see. Pew, pew, pew. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, where are you? Where did you get to? No. I know. I'm about to call it here and go to go to Twitch. Then I wouldn't get to hang out with my buddy trio. Um, gameplay custom lighting. Yeah. There we go. Now we got it, lads. Now you yeah, got it. No custom lighting. I mean, it's still technically pretty bright. Don't go to Twitch tonight. Oh, why not, friend? Why not? But, but I want to. Yeah, Trio, get a Twitch. I got a Twitch, guys. Anyway, uh, so we picked up some new equipment. I did a little bit of landscaping around the farm. Got Twitch. No surgery at this time. Cannot use the arm for four weeks, then reassess any everything else is healing goods. Well, at least... I'm glad you don't need surgery, Keith. That's fantastic. Unfortunately, I'm sorry you can't go fishing with that arm the way it is, bud. I will send Ninja Farmer over to uh, give you give you a little hand there. Funny stuff coming, he says. Watch out. Alrighty, so. Alrighty. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead here and. Yes. Let's. I do realize I need to put down. Um, oof, Keith. Yeah, you do need to be careful there, bud. Collar, collarbone injuries are no joke. I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night. Just so we can get some daylight here.
Didn't sleep through the night there. <laughs> he goes, um, why? Brian, you never told me why I can't go to Twitch. We got 10 people watching. Seven votes in the poll there, guys. That is the friendship defining question of the century. Yeah, unfortunately, they're, uh, Hoonigan, you're gonna need. Why don't I? Oh, yeah, I should. I should go to Twitch. Um, nope, I have to get my kid to reel my rod for me. I'm sorry, Keith. That's just, that's just rough, man. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Alrighty, let me go ahead and I think we're gonna go ahead and hop in a tractor. I'll give you a quick tour of the farm here. I'll do it in first person view. Now, I did put down quite a bit of gravel um cleaned up a little bit put in some trees there folks yes at least you still get to go fishing that's that's what life's about right there i'm with you um so up here we have our um these are going to be our horse barns up here currently we do not have any horses here so we have a grand total of four horse barns that's true I'm not going anywhere white yet DJ I know Brian's want me to uh, the only reason I would leave is if twitch uh, or YouTube starts giving me issues um, I did put down the uh, pole barn here just for some extra storage space. And I put down quite a few trees just to kind of spruce it up, add a little bit, um, add a little bit more life. So I've been thinking, guys. Um, one thing that I'm going to go ahead and try and do if we hit 10 likes I'm gonna go ahead and do squats again uh, and for every $10 dono we're also gonna do squats um, I will make it work guys I'm showing nine seven likes I did put in that little uh, shed there for our beef cows now I do also have to put in um, not really though because I don't need TMR for beef cows um, and I think I have the realistic animal grazing So I got a couple of nice little sheds around here. Um, the other thing we need to... I'm going to need a mower. I think I have a uh, new haul in there. Yeah, Ray is funny looking. <laughs> so, basically with this gameplay, guys, I am looking at doing a beef and horse ranch kind of style of play yo what is up there Josh how are you buddy welcome uh, we have the bush hog there for uh, getting into the cattle pasture Thank you there, Trio. Much appreciate it. 
10,000 chickens, hopped greenhouse, and you're still up in the air. Oof. Alrighty. So, now, we, so, we're building a case farm, too. Making very cool stuff. Ooh. My interest is peaked. So, let me see. I know what we're looking at here. Um, let me go to what I own. We have 179 there. All right. So, we are going to want this guy right. Nope. Wrong one there, pal. Thanks for streaming this week. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, now, I kind of left some of the ground kind of rough. Uh, and the reason being is because, well, most, most farmyards and things like that are going to be somewhat kind of rough. As we got eight legs. Oof. I'm gonna leave that pole up for a little bit longer yet. Um, let's go ahead here. Now, uh, let's go ahead. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna hop in the cow pasture there. We do need to get some hay here, and I do want to check out and see kind of how our animals are doing. So we need to get them some food, and we definitely, definitely need to get some water. Hey, much appreciated, Josh. You have, or Brian, you have a good night. Hopefully you feel better. Let my voice soothe you to sleep, my friend. Guys, there's the donor link. It is also pinned up in chat. No pressure ever to give. It does go to help the channel. As well as my ever-expanding family. Alrighty, there we go. Pineapple belongs on fish cakes. What? I don't even know what you mean. Oof. Then lift up there. I was really excited to check out that Little Mountain, Utah map, guys. But for whatever reason, it's just not working. It keeps crashing on me. Yeah, I do too, Raymond. I I like my ham and pineapple pizza. Looks like we're having ground beef. Or technically that would be shredded beef.
Oof. That sounds amazing. That sounds delicious, Josh. Tonight I had... Uh, what did I have? Crap. Uh, flounder. And <laughs> I didn't have crab. <laughs> Let's just get that right. Uh, had flounder, green beans, and some some pasta. You know I need my pasta, folks. Tip of the night, red symbolizes love, green symbolizes hell. Search this up if you don't believe me. Well, and purple is the color of royalty there, DJ. Or, er, <coughs> trio. Good golly, DJ, what are you doing? <laughs> Just blame Ray. He's not even here. We're blaming Ray. I can't English tonight, folks. Yes, DJ, everything is super bright on my game. And I cannot figure out why. I think it has something to do with Legacy's uh, wonderful beef sheds there. Let's, uh, warning, texture C, uh, series, there's that, CPU, mid. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Let's try something here. If I... See, no, I don't have the real light mod. See, once I remove the sheds, everything goes back to normal. <laughs> See? Now we're back to normal. So it's something with his beef sheds there. No, we're not blaming you, Raymond. We're blaming Ray. Listen, just so everybody knows, Raymond is thing two and Ray is thing one. So we're, bra we're blaming thing one in this uh, chat here. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking it's something to do with those beef sheds. For the time being here, um, let's, yeah, Ray, not Raymond. And place that guy down there, which means we can get rid of that. Rick, yes, but we're, 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 we're talking about thing one. Yeah, DJ, so it is definitely something with those sheds. Uh, we'll get rid of those guys for now. Um, yeesh. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead. I do like having these guys here. But I think I will go ahead and... Boom. All right. Uh, I can dig it. I can dig it. Can y'all? Can, can, can y'all? And we'll go ahead and we'll put a couple of these guys down. Watch this guy. Open. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and let's stick that guy right, uh, we'll stick it there. That'll be more of our calfing pen, if you will. All right, we'll call that good enough. And then the other thing I need to add in here is that 
guy. Got two love Western uh, Iowa's modding things there. Alright, so that is going to be. My Ray Ray is better than Raymond, lol. <laughs> um, guys, I, uh, I'm out of this one. I want no part of it. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? All right. Um, I stuffed my whole farm. It's all right. It's no big deal. It's no big deal, friends. It just gives us more room. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Let's see. We'll go ahead and hashtag blame bro. Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, I'm with Brian on this one. Y'all need Jesus. Just the saying. Put some grass in. There we go. All right. Okay, he's good looking. What do you mean? We're going to put down some gravel. Uh, maybe we do dirt. Dirt. You like it. Oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> got him. Squeal like a DJ's lurking. Thank you, friend. Eight likes, guys. Thank you all so much. Y'all the real MVPs here. Thank you for showing up and hanging out with me. You will get very lonely very quick. <clears throat> DJ, listen, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Just plead the fifth. Plead the fifth, DJ. It's healthier for you. I don't know why you need to plead the fifth, but just do it. Be safe. Be smart. There we go. Alrighty. Well, alrighty then, folks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I got Brian from Raymond. <laughs> you can't. What? Oh, you did, Trio. Got him. Trio's feeling the power. Oh boy. Legacy would be so proud. He really would be, Trio. You would just have made Legacy a, a proud, proud man right there. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. DJ, you're not wrong. You are not wrong, buddy. Well, ruined half my field there, but you know what? It gives a tootin' tootin' holler. I mean, it's soybeans, so I think I will give myself a little bit of room on this side here. Hashtag. Do what? Sorry. Tell him, DJ. Tell him. Remind him. All right. Cool. Let's get back to cutting some grass, lads. Tractor with the turning width of a cruise ship.
10 amazing people watching. Thank you all so much. I appreciate y'all. If you haven't smashed that like button there, folks, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel. Doesn't cost you a dime. Big delay. Yeah, that's the YouTube for you. Because I have it set up to have no delay, and then YouTube does its delay. Josh still in here? How do I turn that little green box off? Or is that because I have the uh, developer mode turned on? Someone needs their car put in a tree somewhere? If you say so. I, uh, I don't suggest putting cars in trees. We don't have the TLX wreck it yet. Alrighty, DJ. Thank you so much, bud. I appreciate you stopping by. You have a fantastic night, my friend. We will catch you next time around. Everybody go check out my good friend DJ Spuds over on Twitch. You will catch him streaming over there a lot more. Um, so please go over there give him a follow. Kind of regret putting trees in this field. Yo, what's up, ninja? Mr. Ryland's in the house. How are you, buddy? Welcome. Thank you for stopping by the stream tonight. And we're back up to 50 50 on the pole there. Hey, I'm not doing too bad. Not too shabby. We're going to go ahead and get some grass bales made to get our cows fed. Uh, mm, possibly, maybe Legacy's Beef Sheds? I mean, do you, wanna, do you want me to test it out? I think it has something to do because then... Them fields were telling me they were 190% fertilized, which I don't get. Give it a try. All right, yeah, we can uh, we can definitely give it a shot here. Uh, let me go ahead and get the game saved here. Let's give it a shot. Uh, let's see. So we'll go here. I'll save the game one more time. And we get to see this beautiful mug right here.
All right, let's give her a quick look. All righty, I am going to go ahead and end that poll. 50 50 percent there folks not too shabby all right so let's go ahead and uh let's see there's a bunch of stuff here i don't need all right we'll go in new farmer Yeah, you do there, Mr. Hoonigan. Alrighty, let's take a quick meander around here. Um, hmm, hmm. I'll tell you what. Um, push hold, but you there, okay. Let's go ahead, we'll turn off that. And... Let me turn off any extra mods here. Enhanced lens system, we can use that. And go ahead. Turn that off. We can use that. Turn that off. Um, do, 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 do. Turn that off. Do that. Mm -hmm. Remote control. Do, do. Uh, turn that off. Turning off a bunch of unnecessary stuff. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Turn that guy. Players leave.
Okay, and I think turn that off. All right, here we go. Oh, gotcha. No worries there, friend. Uh, roll mineral bags. All right, so let's... There we go. All right, let's give it a shot. So we're loading up here, trying to anyway. Um, it makes sense there, uh, Ninja. We got eight amazing people watching, nine likes. Thank you all so much. I appreciate y'all. There we go. No, it's not. We are doing a test on Little Mountain, Utah. Um, which is what we were originally going to do, but then we kept having, uh, crashing issues. So we're just taking, uh, taking a moment to test it out here to see if it was maybe the beef sheds that were causing it to crash. Just an idea. Alrighty, Raven. I appreciate you lurking there, buddy. Go win some. All right. Uh, let's see. Since. Let's go ahead and do that guy. Yeah, no, we're not going to blame Legacy. It's not his fault. I still have to edit the logo on this hat to go up yet. Uh, yes. All righty. So. Let's see. I know it usually crashes right here. Trying to load the soil composition map. And there it goes. So we now know that's an issue with the soil composition map. So we're going to go ahead and jump back into the uh, Chilliwack game save. <laughs> I wouldn't know, Larry Hoonigan. <clears throat> Bam. Alrighty, let's jump back, 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 back into the game. Do, do, do. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty here, so... Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and 
do a Q&A here, folks. So you can feel free to ask questions. Um, and I will answer questions. A little something new I figured we try out here. Oh, the Hoonigan was typing something. <laughs> what are you typing, Hoonigan? <laughs> Let's see here. What am I most interested in? All right, so uh, let's see. How does this work? All right. Um, what am I most interested in for SF FS? 22 in the future. <sighs> I don't know as far as Farm Sim 22. Uh, I think I would be more excited to see what the next game is going to hold. Like, I'm hoping, like, Year three is gonna really have to kind of blow me away. Um, because so far I will say I've not been super impressed with the DLCs, like at all. Um, I have yet to use the Gravel Pack. Not super excited for the uh, hay and tedding pack. Um, I imagine we're going to be looking at uh, probably... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ninja. Um, probably... I don't know, bud. Probably looking at probably some Deutz equipment um, for the next DLC, maybe. Um, really, I think what I would love to see is a lot more props. I think if I had to request anything of giants it would be a lot more crops into the game um, just because you kind of get bored of doing the same five or six crops over and over and over again what's up Ray how are you buddy welcome so yeah I don't know that I can actually say I'm looking forward to anything because so far and don't get me wrong, like, I appreciate Giants. I appreciate what they're trying to do, but at the same time, um, not super impressed. Hello, Thing One. Yeah, like, corn and soybeans, and I think soybeans are the most OP crop in... Uh, farm sim. That's just my personal opinion. That and silage. So, yeah, I hope that kind of answers your question there, Ninja. Guys, feel free to drop a question in the Q&A. So, Ray, 
You are uh, thing one, and he is thing two. <laughs> Just so people don't get you confused with one another. <laughs> That's my, at least on this channel. You could take that as you, yeah. Plead the fifth, Raymond. That, that's always a smart move. Um, while also at the same time, I definitely suggest, uh, you know, um, asking for a lawyer. Every time. Every time. All right. Let's get some grass. We'll get some hay cut here. Um... That's the other thing, too. Won't let you ask a question. What? You should be able to. You can ask it in general chat, too. That's totally fine with me there, Hoonigan. Ooh, Raymond asks... What is my dream car? All right. Uh, no worries there, Raymond. Um, or Hoonigan. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't English. So, Raymond, dream car is actually uh, a truck. Um. I love Chevy, um, so I would want a Chevy 2500 Silverado with like the full package, the full hookup, you know what I'm saying? That's my, that is my dream vehicle, that and a H1 Hummer because it is the only Hummer built on a Humvee chassis. Um, I like, I like, I like my big toys. But yes, uh, if I could have any car in the world, it is gonna be the Chevy. Yeah, uh, more than likely it would probably be the 3500, just to have that extra towing capacity. Um, cause I remember when I was driving Amish and pulling trailer loads of cabinets, that little 2500 struggled going uphill for no reason at all. So there you go, Raymond. Take it or leave it, buddy. All right. Hoonigan, what's your question, buddy? Go ahead and throw it in chat. Just the general chat. That's fine. Ford Police Interceptor. Okay. 98, and I can't see. Hold on here. Let me go ahead and expand that out a little bit more. 2011 Ford Police Interceptor. All right, all right, I see you. Wouldn't be my pick, but you know, hey, it's America. You want a truck too? I'd like to upgrade to the new GMC EVC. I don't know. I don't know that I'd want an EV. I don't know that I want one. Um, but hey, respect. I can respect that. Um, don't get me wrong. I think, yeah, I would say I like the Denali is a beautiful, beautiful truck. Um, that is like, I think the epitome of trucks. But I will say, I think trucks are way overpriced. Yeah, and I hear you, Josh. That 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 makes that makes a lot of sense. If it makes sense where you're at, then you know, hey, go for it. 
Um, but I also think, you know, there are people driving trucks just because they, you know, like the truck, not because they're actually going to use it. Me, I'd actually use a truck. Um, so, yeah, that's my thing. Uh, let's see, what else? If I won the lottery, okay, let's, um, Chevy 4500 Duramax dually turbo diesel, there you go. All right, question there, uh, Hoonigan, how much is the lottery? <laughs> how much did I win, first of all? Making some shredded beef there. Cause the cows don't move. Move. I mean, <laughs> my wife and I were talking tonight, and the question is, what would we do after taxes? Let's say it's about ten million. All right. So, in a perfect world. Um, first things we're doing is we're paying off all our debts, car debt, student loan debt, um, then we're buying a farm, um, and all the equipment, and then I would build myself the ultimate gaming PC. I would love to build my own house. Um, so, yeah, I'd probably look at doing all of that. Um, I would also be taking some of that and investing it, um, in, probably in a lot of tech startups. Um, a lot of it would go into a savings IRA, but ideally I'd love to buy a pretty decent sized farm, kind of expand our cattle herd currently, um, so yeah, that's what I would do with, uh, $10 million buy my dream truck not a shop house no I'd be building a nice nice house um, kind of like I said farmhouse barndemonium who knows something cool um, you know, I'd be putting money aside for my daughter's education, um, probably something to, uh, kind of help her out and get started in life a little bit better than I did. Um, yeah, it's kind of my dreams. You know, of course, all of that after, you know, I tithe. So, that's kind of step number one. Definitely want to tithe. Uh, give 10% pack back. Alrighty, anybody else have any other questions? This is kind of fun. I actually enjoy this. We'll have to do this more often. Shop house I want to build would cost about 150000 with some of the contracting mostly done by you. Yeah, and that's the thing too. Because I have 
experience in construction, a lot of the work could probably be done by myself. Um, and also at the same time, would be done right the first time. Oh, Ray, I know. It, listen, it's it's the SciTech gaming wheel. You know, I got it. It was on sale. It works great, but it doesn't at the same time. Um, that's the only kicker that I've found is that it just, time to time, it just squeaks. <clears throat> You know, the, I probably, my main thing that, like, currently my dream is, I definitely, like, if I had goals currently, um, would be definitely to get a house. Currently is to get a house and get, about, get out of our two-bedroom apartment here. Guys, I apologize for the squeaking. It's just the way it is. That's the way it is, Wayman. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna try pulling it. Pulling the mic in a little bit closer to see if we can not pick that up. Yep. I think it kind of all depends on where in the country you're at as to how much it's going to cost to build a house. I do know I probably would not want to build a house, you know, with lumber prices the way they were just a couple of years ago. Um, or even, you know, where 2 by 4s were like 15 bucks. It was ridiculous. Even like 716 sheet of OSB rated plywood was almost 60 bucks. Yeah, that's just a sheet. And that's just absolutely crazy. In my opinion. Absolutely nuts. cheaper there and it comes from here yeah i know it, it's it's absolutely nuts dude i'll tell you what i was on a job site in in maryland flipping a house and i had almost three grand worth of lumber stolen let me tell you this this gets me dude it was their Monday night. I had 102 by fours. I had 12 treated two by twelves. Uh, ten untreated two by fours. I had uh, let's see, um, probably 12 sheets of. Um, waterproof subflooring. All of it came back Tuesday morning. 
all of it was gone. Called the state troopers. The Maryland state troopers. They came, took the report for us. The guy's like, hey, somebody just remodeled their house. And I was like, someone just put a new bathroom on. That's about it. Um, but yo, dude, three grand worth of lumber. Treated 2x12s. And let me tell you, them things were still green and heavy. Like, that was a team job right there. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> I was... Bro, I was not happy. Not at all. Um, hmm. That was uh that was a fantastic day. We were we were getting ready, we were all set. I, I will say though, they left the eight hundred pounds of concrete bags that I had sitting there. <laughs> they weren't about to load that up. It was like a full pallet and a half of concrete. Hey, I hear you, Leggy. I hear you. Welcome, buddy. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> but, like, that threw my entire day off. We were put... We were getting ready to pour a footer uh, for this front bedroom. And we couldn't... We had to basically go pick everything up um uh, we were pouring the footer or the footer was yeah the footer was getting poured and then we were putting a new floor in well leggy i hope you feel better and i appreciate you being here yeah that just i just don't get people sometime You know, I've had, I've had tools, oh, excuse me, uh, I've had tools stolen, stolen off my, you know, job sites. It just gets me, dude. There used to be so much respect between the trades. Thank you. Thank you there, Ray. You know, you used to be able to leave your tools marked up on a job site. Nowadays, you'll go on a job site and you got to lock them in the job box and everything else. Because somebody's going to walk with them. And then you'll find them on Facebook or Marketplace the next day. I get it, Legacy. I'm an introvert. Very much so. And yet I'm here doing YouTube. I don't get it. Why do I do this to myself? Shredded beef. There we go.
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Legacy. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it? It's true. Legacy, now let me tell you, buddy. You would be proud of Trio. He timed out Brian for something. I forget what. But that was, that was funny. I was like, you know what? Legacy would be proud, Trio. He's learning there, Leggy. He's learning. Oh, it was to avenge Raymond. <laughs> Got him. He timed out Raymond, that's why. <laughs> that's right. There go ahead and cut around the shed here. Yeah, that is why he timed you out there, Raymond. <clears throat> ah. Now, why is it mulching and not actually dropping grass? Ah, now I see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. Brian's over here, you know, sounding like an 80 year old woman trying to talk. <laughs> Yeah, trio. <laughs> yeah. You can actually. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Ow. Hey, Brian. We don't talk like that, Brian. I know you're sick, but, you know. <laughs> What's the Shinabuva? <laughs> yes, I know, Leggy. Listen. Alright. I have to. Okay? I know you need a good chuckle. No, he was talking about my comment. Sorry, Tria, I got them for you. Don't you worry, buddy. What's the deal, Booba? Why are you not... I don't like it. It's 
Somebody help! Yeah, we don't need you hacking up along there. Hey, and that's admirable there, uh, trio. Hey, hey, Farmer Tech 51, how are you, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in there. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I forgot to put down the moor. What's the matter with me? Oh, come on, baby. Alrighty, so we know Ready for some time off. Hopefully you have some coming up. Glad you're doing well. Guys, we got 12 likes. Thank you all so much. I appreciate y'all. You're welcome. Jake approved movie reference there, Trio. <laughs> yeah, it it always seems to go slow when you're coming up to it. To it, a there, farmer. Hey, we're only on Monday, but I'm sorry. That's uh, that's rough. I'll give you a fist bump, trio. likes thank you guys much appreciate it <laughs> it's been a long week and it is only Monday oh, I'm sorry there trio Welcome back, Brian. That was just Molly messing around.
Get a trio. That just means more time to enjoy summer vacation or something like that. Ah, I hear ya. What the world? Sorry guys, my weedies are super strong. What can I say? What can I say, y'all? I was gonna say, Farmer Tech, it feels like it's been a hot minute and a half there. Uh, we're doing well. Um, we are actually doing super awesome. So I don't know if you heard the news. Um, expecting a baby girl in September. That is our first child. Um, so, yeah. Definitely super, super excited for that, bud. Uh, kind of towards the end of September there. Thank you. Thank you very much. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Thank you there, Trio. That is awesome. Congratulations there. Actually, Trio's in 10th uh, grade there, Brian. Going into 10th grade. Is a, so, Farmer Tech, is this your first grandchild? Fifth. Wow, what a legacy. That's awesome there, Farmer Tech. Sounds like you got yourself a small little tribe there. That's awesome, bud. Farmer Tech 51 tribe coming through. Well... Trio, I think we're all a little bananas sometimes. <laughs> Taking over the world one grandchild at a time. There you go. Funny story when my wife and I were, you know, newly engaged. And we were going through premarital counseling. The question came up, how many kids do you want? And my wife says, eh, one at a time, right? Three, four. And, and I looked at her and I said, I want, I want 13. And her face. <laughs> and I was like, listen. I want enough for our football team. We don't even have to name them. We'll just give them all a jersey number. 
she comes to me and goes hey number two stinks i can go <laughs> you don't say all right all joking aside i'm happy with whatever the good lord sees fit to bless us with you know so definitely uh definitely excited for that just a little tidbit there <laughs> <laughs> right, Farmer Tech. <laughs> yeah, something, something like that, Ray. <laughs> she was not gonna have any of that. <laughs> we still joke about it. Nothing like them, that's for sure. You've got three girls. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet my meet my daughter. She's gonna be so blessed. I'm gonna tell her what she's worth every single day all right tell her listen this is what you're worth so when some little little punk boy comes up and says hey girl she gonna be like hey girl my daddy says in this whole list of stuff and she goes and all you got for me is hey girl and then I pop out of the bushes like, Ch -ch -ch. telling you, got it. Uh, we don't have a name picked out yet. We think we have it down to like three or four. We're getting there. Um, still a lot of planning to do. Um... Ideally, we would want, um, ideally I'd love to move, get us into, uh, a newer apartment or a house or something, um, but yeah. <clears throat> what are you talking about, Trio? That is like Jesus. <laughs> I'm just saying. She just she's gonna know her worth. She's gonna know her value. And if that's the case, I don't have anything to worry about. Cody Johnson has a fan fantastic song out and the first time I heard it it made me think of my unborn baby girl it's called God Bless the Boy go check it out y'all fantastic song let's just say I'm like that's the song that I want to dance with her at her wedding Trio, I know, buddy. I'll tell you, Trio. Look, my life has been no walk in the park when it comes to family life and situations. Um... And if you heard my life story, um, who I am today, just according to the world standards, does not make sense.
Because I should be... I should be really, really messed up. My life could be on a completely different trajectory. And it's not. And I attribute that to my faith. Hey, and you're exactly right, Josh. And you know what? Um, God is the only reason that I am here, that I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I would not be who I am without his guiding hand. And his way of redeeming the terrible and for his purposes. You know, I reminded Romans 8, 28. For we know all things work together for the good of those who are called by God according to his good and perfect will. Doesn't necessarily say everything's going to be good. It just says all things work together for the good of those who are called by God, right? And that's one thing, Wednesday night, guys, we are coming back and we're going to finish out my Wednesday night word that I started. Uh, we're going to be back doing our mini Wednesday night uh, Farm Sim Bible series just before we get into playing the game. Um, and we're going to be talking about influence and who we let influence us and how we influence others so I'm excited to be back with you on that that will be Wednesday night That's something I definitely feel like I need to be doing, you know. I think it's something different. Um, and you guys kind of get to hear my heart and my passion there. Um, but also at the same time, we just get to spend, spend some time together uh, in the Word and growing. Yeah, I think Wednesday nights, I think I'm going to leave it for Wednesday nights. Um, their trio. It's a nice little midweek uh, refresher. You know? I hope you're able to make it too there, Farmer Tech. Um, you can always go back and I should retitle that one back to what it was. But, yeah, we're... Uh, I'm excited, dude. I feel like it's just another way for me to kind of do something a little bit different than the farm sim community. You know, I feel like if I've been given a platform, right, um, such as, and by platform, it doesn't necessarily mean YouTube, but if I have a way to reach people, then I should be able to use it for his glory. Um, if you guys look at my logo there um, you'll see Joshua 1 9 have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous um, and I think that's you know one thing that you know we can kind of lose sight of be strong and courageous because hey you know what 
people may completely tune out but i hope that those who do tune in uh are you know feeling at least there's some takeaway from it uh for somebody out there so kind of stick my neck out there and let God do the rest. Amen. Well, we're finally done with or almost done with this uh, pasture here. Go ahead and cut out around this tree here. We got six amazing people watching, 13 likes. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know there, Farmer Tech. It's a reinforced grill. <laughs> <laughs> listen when I went to pick it up from the dealer I told him reinforce it <laughs> Trio, five dollars an hour. All right, Trio, you're hired. What about uh, what about parts? <laughs> what about the uh, what about the labor charge? get the parts from rusty money <laughs> yes order those parts uh i'll talk to rusty maybe he can give me a discount <laughs> you think he'd give me the uh employee discount on parts there Let's go ahead and pick this up now. We're gonna go ahead. I do want to windrow half of this. He think he should, right? I agree, hundred <laughs> percent. All right. Um, now half of that I want to windrow, and then the other half. Um, I should probably buy a smaller windrow. The...
just because of how tight it is in there. So let's take a quick meander into wind rowers. Uh, yeah, let's, we'll get that guy. And we're going to go ahead, and I think what I want to do is we'll take this guy. There's a wall. Where? <laughs> we got 14 likes. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Y'all the real MVPs. Alrighty there, Farmer Tech. Thank you so much for stopping by, my friend. As always, you are welcome here anytime. Uh, it's the other way around. Alrighty. Um, hate to destroy a crop, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Have a good night. Enjoy your shut eye. Alrighty, so what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and wind row completely around. The pasture here just to get it around the away from the fence. I will probably go ahead and cut off the corner here. Hey, alrighty there, Ray. You have a good night, my friend. Thanks for stopping on in. As always, you are welcome here anytime. And we'll get this, at least some of it, wind road, uh, so I can make some grass bales so we can get our cows fed. We also need to get them some water. And before we start bailing, I will probably go ahead and get them some water so we can get them hydrated.
Hey, that's all right, trio. All righty, let's go ahead. We'll get on with the second pass around here. Yeah, totally cool there, bud. No worries. Alrighty. And Josh is still here. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate you, bud. <laughs> One never knows. Graham, how are you, bud? Good to see you. Hope your work shift is going well, or if you're just getting started there. Okay, people are lurking. Yes, they are always lurking in the background. <laughs> just getting started well Graham if you'd like VC is open my dude if you need some company to get started <laughs> yeah that's true trio you can't can't read minds there bud right Now, I think what I'm going to do is spin this around and we will go ahead and get this lined up here again. I think we'll put a little bit more in, in this row here. Give ourselves a little extra room around. Put a little more in that row. This work or is it? It does. How are you, buddy? Uh, I'm doing all right. I just don't know why my Bluetooth isn't connected. Stupid huh. thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, give me one shake. Yep. Be right back. Copy that. Let's do it again. Jeez. Too no. many Christmas. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's weird because I hung up from the call and it went back through the Bluetooth. Weird. So I connect all again and it made the Bluetooth connection noise and now I'm talking to you on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'll love it. Uh, let's see if I can back to chat. Well, thank you there, Trio. There we go. I just have to go uh, get set up in my observation post, I'm going to call it. Nice. <laughs> Where I observe the happenings through a bunch of walls, and uh, I have my radio with me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. You know. All part of my mechanical room walk. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, no, so uh, it's a decent sized building, lots of places to go and uh 
hang out. Yeah. Lots of Take a nap if you need. Right. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I was going to say it's so blatantly, but... Yeah. <laughs> but yes, that is the the end result. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, and lately at work, for some reason, we've been losing airlines like no one's business. Oh, jeez. That's always funny. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you go and you repair one, and then like 30 minutes later, it blows off the connection point. Oh, jeez. And... Yeah, it shuts everything down again. Oof. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's great fun. Fun Some times. days. Sure sounds oh, yeah. like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but then you get nights like last night where I think I had, like, two small calls, and I went and read a lot of uh, materials on some of the other equipment, so can't complain about those days, that's for sure. Yeah. That can kind of drag a... Uh drag your uh, shift out. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it sure can, but... <sighs> oh, I just wish I brought a coffee with me. Shoot. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a long way to go back. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. So, you were on Little Mountain. Well, we were, and it kept crashing. Oh, no. So, we're on, we're on Chilliwack. Okay. Did when the, was it crash? Yeah, I have no idea. Every time I went to loot, like, it was weird, dude. So, I went to check the one field that we owned, and it said it was 187% fertilized. Okay. Yeah, and then when I would go to, uh, like, check the soil composition, it crashed. Wow. Yeah. So I don't know what is up there. That is definitely weird. Yeah. Oh, show. Huh. Yeah, Josh, I'm kind of thinking the same. <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like a great map. Like, it looks like it could be a, uh, a really good map. But I don't, yeah, it's not. Nowhere near ready. So how did it get released? That's, he, this is my thing here. He released like it. All these... MRG released it. MRG. Like to like Facebook or to Giants or to... No, it was his, uh, his website. Okay. So it didn't go through all the Giants qualifying no, things? No. Okay. Yeah, I doubt it's going to become a mod hub. Oh, okay. That's just... I, I don't think he plans on releasing it from Mod Hub. Okay. But it's, it's just amazing, though, like, all the little intricate things to map making. Like, I was watching some of Jewel's stuff and Triple D's, obviously, and, like, dang. Yeah. And Rob probably knows exactly what I'm talking about. Like, everything has to be in perfect order for it to function properly, and... Yeah. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I can't even imagine all the little things that have to be done on a map. And then try and keep track of it. Yeah. I know. Yeah, like, buddy. I wanna I wanna do a map of my area. But I just have no idea how to get started. Um Uh, yeah, I know you agree with uh, Josh. Eighty percent done. Interesting. You ever heard of the eighty twenty principle, Jake? Yeah. 
Well, you put in 20% of the work, you get 80% of the results. Right. And the rest, and the 20% of the work, or the 80% that's left, all the hard stuff. Because, yeah, you can put up the shell of a building and it looks like a building, but there's still so much more involved inside that no one really sees for it to actually be functional. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, and the thing is, oh, too, is he he has like a whole like paid course on map making oh really yeah <laughs> I like that trio step one start that's yeah. your instruction Jake yeah <laughs> <laughs> trio and yes Josh, that last 20% is definitely the hardest yeah I wouldn't even That's know where to start. That's what most people stop. That's <laughs> the 80s. Like, ah, good enough. Because I know when I've been playing that Stormworks game, like, the last 20% is all the logic and all of the connections. Right. And then the math. Oh, right. the math. Always the math. Always the math. It's always the math. It's like... I've used trig outside of high school and work. Right. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep. Start place somewhere. <laughs> Start somewhere. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, what's the what's the map editor called? Is it just like literally Giant's map editor or it's like that Giant's editor, I believe. Is that a free download tool or is that Giant's a pay editor? to play pen? No, you can download Giants editor. Okay. Niels is live. Oh, tell Niels I said hello. And long hello. time no see. Like Niels Family Gaming? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Niels cool. Farming and Gaming or something? I forget. It's been so long. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're talking about the uh, the same person. Yeah. Uh, yes. Giant millimeter depth, which is free. Perfect. So I think that's your start point. Oh, I have that. I have that installed. Okay. Have you opened it? Oh yeah. I tried doing some mod versions. Didn't go so well. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, when you say mod conversions, did you try and edit, like, the, the physical appearance, or did you just, what did you edit? Like, I'm curious. I'm trying to bring a couple of mods from FS19 over, like a John Deere riding mower that I found. Okay. Thank you, Trio. Oh, please tell me it was, like, a John Deere RX-75, like, ride-on mower. It was, uh, well, I think it was like, uh, 1030. Okay. Or something like that. Yeah. So with the big deck on front and like the rear wheel steer and stuff? Uh, no. It was kind of like what tax doing, but I couldn't get like the mower deck to work or anything like that. Ooh. Yeah, and look at what Josh just wrote there. Yeah, he's not wrong. Uh, I have, I have no doubt. You're not Port, wrong. What do they call it? Porting over? Is that the term? Porting over? Uh, just converting. Heard, just converting. I've heard yeah. some people say the other thing, but yeah, I, I guess technically <laughs> you could go either way. Ooh, yeah.
Did we lose you, Drake? Nope. We're here. Oh, okay. The model, converting a mod from earlier version to FS22 is twofold. The modeling update, yep. And then XML. Yeah. So, yeah. I tried doing some XML work. Um, Josh, I'm not gonna lie, did try, did attempt, um, cleared my game log and then, uh, loaded the game with just that mod to look and see what the errors were. And then tried to uh fix those errors um but of course you know textures and things like that changed of course as well Getting dark in game. Alrighty, Josh. We'll see you in five, bud. It is getting dark in game. Oh, yeah. If I had left Legacy's uh, monoslopes in here, we'd have daylight for days. Monoslopes? His big uh, beef sheds. Oh. Yeah. That lit up like what? the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Legacy did say he does work on some pretty crazy stuff, so. Yeah. Looks great. Yeah. Functions great. <laughs> and no need to put extra lights in the yard. Love it. Yeah, for real. It's literally how it was. It was like 1045 in, in game and it was bright as day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my. Hmm. Engine fail. <laughs> oh no, trio. Alrighty, uh, let's go ahead. I think we'll do a couple more passes here with the windrower. And then the rest, I'm gonna bail this stuff up and then uh, ted the rest. Oof. That's rough, Trio. Did it break or did it run on a fuel trio? It's You're still playing FS twenty, right? Yep. I played uh, FS twenty for a bit. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. I found it, it was good. But just limited. Yeah. Kind of like 23. Right. I've yet to try 23, and I don't know if I will. Yeah. Oh, farming you I think, say too. Gotcha. So I think Trio said he tried it, and uh, he was a bigger fan of 20. I remember yesterday or the day before correctly. Yes.
Oh, and then Josh said some other things about it, too. That's right. There we go. The Rolodex of information in the brain is starting to line up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big Rolodex, let me tell yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. So there is that. We're going to go ahead and sleep through the night. We got about 15 minutes left on the stream here, folks. Ooh. I think Wrong we're going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and get the animals some water. Man, it's still dark in there. Yeah. I can't watch the stream and be in a voice chat at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I hear myself like two seconds or ten seconds later and it's like, who am I listening to again? <laughs> Oof. Yeah. But the chat's still going active, so that's good. Hey, take care there, Brian. Have a good night, Brian. Hope you feel better. Yeah, buddy. Feel better. You sound like crap. <laughs> <laughs> like an 80 year old lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good times. Get this guy, fool. You know, it's interesting that we don't spell like hi like hi there like H Y E. Right. Or Yeah. Well, I guess the other spelling of bi has a different meaning nowadays, so Right. Yeah. Hit the cattle guard. Which I think the literal translation is two from Latin, so or something yeah. like that. Oh, here's a good word for you. Bifurcate. Bifurcate. <laughs> Use that in a sentence. Uh... <laughs> word of the day. Word of the day. So, Graham, I have a question for you, bud. Yeah, buddy, what's up? We asked earlier in the stream, we took a poll. Okay. Pineapple on pizza. Yes or no? Yes. All right. You can hang. <laughs> you want to spice it up a notch, you throw some hot banana peppers on that ham and pineapple pizza and you got yourself a tasty treat. Hey, there you go. Oh, Call yeah, buddy. Canadian special. <laughs> yeah. Well, my uh, cousin used to own a pizza restaurant, and while I was going through apprenticeship, electrical I worked at this pizza restaurant and I gave myself the title of head of our research and development nice so I was uh, quite creative there with my go. pizzas <laughs> oh yeah buddy Graham you're about to join my R&D <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah I don't know why some people are just 
so against it, right? Like, yeah. Like, I've never had anchovies on a pizza. Neither have I. So I can't really say I don't like it. I it's don't like Meister. the thought of it. Right? Right. Hey, Jake. Meister. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But it's still yet to be tried. Yeah. Now, one thing I could safely tell you I'll never probably put together would be pineapple and anchovies. But I'm sure somebody has. Yeah. Those weirdos. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking about it in the oven now. Oh, yes, the smell. I'll pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but how many people were against pineapple on pizza? Because that came up in DJ's stream today. Yeah. Twitch? Was that? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because I put the emote thing on there. And everybody's like, oh my god, no! <laughs> yeah. So I got a, got a question for the next stream that I'm saving up for. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> The thought-provoking one. <laughs> Ooh. I enjoy thought-provoking conversations. It'll be fun, for sure. Good. Excellent. Is this a tomorrow thing? <laughs> eh, more than likely. <laughs> yep. When he's saving it, you know something's up. Oh, let's go on. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. All right. Um, now, for use in the small pasture. Uh, let's see. Super umbrella suit. Oof. What is that? We'll get us, we'll get us a Vermeer Baylor. Like I said, with folks, we have one of those in real life. Let's see. Hundred horsepower. Super Umbrella Soup. Yeah, I have no idea. Sus. Tree is a little sus. Mm. <laughs> They're a teenager, correct? I believe yes. so. I believe it's just inherent with the territory of age. Correct. Being sus as a teenager. Correct. I just stirred up some memories from my teenage years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yike. <laughs> yeah. All <laughs> oh, the questionable things I've done. <laughs> oh, look. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can't hook up. Okay. No worries. What are you hooking up with on the tr on the game? What? Huh? Trying huh? to hook up to my Vermeer Baylor. Ooh. He's not working. 
You know, I, when you said Vermeer Baylor, I was just about to ask, ride on or the self-driving one? And yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> if he's hooking up to it, it ain't the self-driving one, dingus. <laughs> Here's your sign. <laughs> Here's your sign. Oh, man. Gee whiz, even that saying that you just said, here's your sign, that's like 15 years old or more. Gotta be, yeah. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Where it's, did it go, Jake? I don't know, the time. Dude. dude. you're telling me. Oh. It's like one day you're going to turn around and your daughter's going to be 12 and you're just going to be looking in the mirror going, What? Where did the time go? Yep. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be getting a little closer now, eh? Hey, Four September. Yep. September. Ooh. End of September ish. <laughs> End of September? Okay. okay. Who knows what okay. baby wants to do? Yeah, we had a the very first one was five weeks early. Oh. Yikes. So, really, yeah, within the last two months any time any time but so far everything's been smooth for the missus mostly like has it been this is a question for you um it's i mean it's it's she's she's had it rough she has not yeah. always felt the best no. No. But she's like exhausted. extra trips to the doctor, extra mm -hmm. medical things, though that's been kind of at a, a dull like roar. Nothing nothing mm -hmm. special. No. Nothing okay, extra. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Thankfully. Everything yes. is good and healthy, so mm -hmm. Yeah. Praise God for Hello, that. Raymond. It's Graham, Raymond. Where's my donuts? <laughs> I'm just kidding. They all went to my hips last time, so pants are too tight now. Jeez, Trio, you're tall, bud. <laughs> At 15? Holy lit. Yeah. Almost as big as your dad, eh? Six feet. Well, wouldn't surprise me if you're a little bit taller at the end of it. Right? Yeah. It's, oh, man, when does the growth spurt stop? Yeah, oh, who knows? I think it's you... right around there, isn't it? 15, 16, 17, somewhere in there? Yeah. Right around there. Man, it's been so long since I thought about that kind of thing. Yeah. It's like, puberty? What was that? Times I'd like to forget. Right. <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my wife, uh... My wife wasn't too sure she wanted a boy. <laughs> For that oh. reason. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's when you teach your young paddle How on you doing, the... Charles? Good to see you, buddy. Thanks the ways, that's in. all. Yeah. That's going to be an interesting time in my house later. <laughs> yeah. Two boys. Oof. Pretty soon you're gonna need a feeding trough. Yeah. Yeah, and grocery prices to drop like a rock. Yeah. For real. Oof. Like, is it as bad for you guys, like, down there as it is up here? Oh, like... Without a doubt, dude. Without like, a doubt. Like, what were we... The wife was at the... A store the other day, which isn't like known to be the cheapest grocery store, but not bad pricing. 
A bag of grapes was gonna be twenty dollars. Jeez. And I'm like, you didn't buy them, right? And she's like, heck no. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, cool. And she's like, but the other place was no better. It was about twelve dollars. I'm like, well, it wasn't twenty. Yeah. <laughs> It's just crazy, oh. dude. It is absolutely crazy. Like it's it's been fluctuating like this for the last little while, but it's like, you know, if something doesn't change. We're gonna get into like another dirty thirty situation. Yeah. I mean, we're for two people almost five hundred dollars a month. Yeah. Now. Just, yeah. Just wait. Yeah. That's just Like, hopefully you can go natural feeding as much as you can, because formula is expensive, but it... Yeah. Oof. Yeah. And yeah. evolved. Like, I don't know how you guys are setting up for the feedings, but I, I pray you have a bottle warmer. Yeah. Good. Yep, it's on our list. Yeah. Now, like, I don't know. We had one that beeped, and it was okay. Yeah. But then the kid would know when it went off, right? Yeah. Eventually, so they'd, they'd learn. Yeah. So we have one now that doesn't beep, and it seemed better. But then again, when it doesn't beep, you might forget about it, especially if the kid calms down for a right. bit, and you're like... <laughs> right. Hey, every, I'm doing good there, Charles. We're not doing too shabby. Oh, good evening, Charles. Is there a plane that crashed near DC or something? Ah, uh, what? I don't know, I was just... In my YouTube, there's a breaking news thing from CBC which is like our national news. No survivors in crash of plane that flew over DC. Led what? to fighter jet scramble. What? That's what's in the title anyways. What happened this evening there, Charles? Are you talking about what Graham's talking about? Where's my phone? In my pocket, what the heck? What the world? Truly really amazed what happened this evening. I'm curious now. What Charles is talking about, the newest thing I can click on after the stream and find out. <laughs> Emotional damage. Emotional damage. Alrighty there, folks. We're going to go ahead and call the stream. Um, ooh, what oh, happened 4B in 4B stream? stream? I'm going to say, don't you dare end the stream until we find out what, Char <laughs> what he's talking about. What happened in 4B stream? Trying to see, I'm not seeing anything here. Let's see. Uh, 
Authorities investigate Virginia plane crash that followed DC sonic boom. Cessna 560 crashed in Virginia. Led to, yeah. Ghost plane crash that killed four left crater with few recognizable pieces. That was seven hours ago. Wow. That's crazy. Keys and Kubota. Yes, Raymond, I'm still here. The T's and Kubota. T Shugs and Kubota. And K Bot? No. Would that as be as auto correct? No. Kicking in? No? No. Okay. What's up, Wrench Monkey? How are you, bud? Yeah, it was yesterday. I'm seeing that here. Graham just pointed that out here. Yeah, I just saw it from twelve hours ago, so Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. All right, donuts. You forgot his coffee, Raymond. Man, these. Oh, I'm coffee. gonna go back down and grab it after after this. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it might even be lunchtime already. Look at that. All righty, lunchtime. Yum 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 yum. Did that loud beep just come through? No. Wrong thing. Yep, yep. Now it did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Hoonigan. I'm good, Radio Chucky. How are you today? You're good, so cool. Q, 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 Q. What's going on, Hoonigan and Wrench Monkey? How you doing? How you doing? Donuts. I got donuts. I like donuts. Hey, I know you. There's a classic Simpsons moment for you. Yeah. Keep Bleaker still lurking. Thank you, buddy. 16 likes, hey, everybody. Bleaker. Thank you so much. Hope your recovery is proceeding well. Ooh, there's some coffee from Charles for those donuts. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I could take a nap soon. Nice. Do it. Yeah. I shouldn't, but I feel like it. Yeah. No. Oh. I think I've maybe been up for like an hour and a half. Oof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coffee still hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah, reality did though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wake up! You gotta go to work. Not ah, poop. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want to sleep for six more hours. Right. Oh man, yes. I bet I know what he brought you, Keith. I don't know, Raymond. You've actually better start selling donuts, bud. 
<laughs> like in real life. Gonna pop it. Oh. Package of Krispy Kremes arriving on your doorstep. Let's go, dude. Make me so happy. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if I've ever actually had a Krispy Kreme, like a fresh one, while I was down in the States uh, during traveling. Ooh. And yeah. I, I don't think I ever did. Dunkin' Donuts, yes, I hit that thing like every day. Right. Oh, man. I even brought home, like, bagged bean coffee from Dunkin's. So that's how much I enjoyed the coffee from there. It's right. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know. I'm not, you know. I'm a coffee snob. You are? Yeah. Well, then we'll get along well. I'm, uh... Dunkin's is in a pinch, but there's always more flavorful and better coffee out there. Listen, you want a great cup of coffee. Sure. You, you get Black Rifle. Roast to order. And you can get it in bean or, uh, you know, your ground coffee. Probably. Yeah. Yep. You can even get it in pods. The best. Oh, yeah. And it's uh, veteran owned coffee. Okay. Believe me, you will not regret it. It sounds good. Custom roast is usually pretty decent. I like that. Yeah. Black rifle, you say, eh? Yep. Okay. And Charles, how's living 20 minutes from Krispy Kreme working? Dangerous, or it's not too bad? <laughs> so it'd be pretty dangerous for me. Yep. Yeah, I'd agree with you there, Graham. <laughs> and Charles knows what I'm talking about. We've got a brand of up here called Kicking Horse. I don't know if you guys have it down there, but it's like one of the more top tier oh, yeah. grocery store brands. Yep. Yeah, but no. I've had the Blue Mountain coffee from Jamaica. I've had the, like, really fancy stuff from, like, I don't know where it was, but it was $25 Canadian for one pound about 10 years ago. Ooh, nice. So that bag of coffee is probably 40 bucks a pound now. All right. Or more. Oh, yeah. No, I love a good coffee. For sure. And it sounds like when I can, I'd love to try that Black Rifle stuff. I get the Beyond Black. Uh, it is a dark roast with a hint of chocolate. Ooh. Fantastic. Yes, it would be. So if you're a coffee snob, have you ever heard of Kite Coffee? I have heard of it, and I <laughs> will not try it. <laughs> Come on, it's supposed to be the best of the best. I don't care. You are not going to get me to get something that came uh, out of some scat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the refining process is a little bit interesting. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. But it's curious, though, how it came to be, right? Like, yeah. Was some guy walking along one day and was like, oh, look at that. Oh, there's some beans in there. I'm going to grab them. Right? <laughs> yeah, Bro. like seriously, how did this come to be? Yeah. The things people come up with. Yep. Oh, lordy. Holy smokes, Keith. So, are you all, like, rigged up? Or you just in a sling or something? Like, you're not in traction, I guess I, you would say, right? 
he's got to be really careful because his apparently his collarbone is like hanging on by a thread. Oh, it didn't snap completely. Nope. Yeah, those things can be a pain. Eesh. Sling only if hurting for now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> broke my well, I've broken my arm several times, but one of the times when I was really young I had to be in traction because I shattered the elbow Ooh. completely. Yeah. So they took out a drill, drilled the hole, put a pin through it. And then I was literally in traction for a couple of weeks. Ooh. It was a good birthday that year because I was in the hospital and my parents felt bad. Yeah, I bet too. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Huh. You know, I'm hearing a very faint, odd squeak where I am right now. That's my. I'm starting uh, one. That's my steering wheel. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I thought there was like a mouse hiding around somewhere. I'm like, hmm, time to investigate. Nope. Sorry uh -oh. to ruin your excitement. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes. Yeah, rodent hunting. Ooh, <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> Nothing like sitting there with a. 22, just picking them off. <laughs> Alrighty, Raymond. Thank you, bud. Now, Keith's accident was the result of a four-wheeler incident, was it not? Yes. So now I need to ask the question of regular driving or special driving? And I know Keith's quads are quite powerful, too. Was there anything like his mods? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I thought he said he had one quad that he wouldn't even let, like, the grandkids ride because he had it going, like, 120 mile an hour. Yeesh. Yeah. So it's like, you know, even if you're doing careful driving, like, a little bit too much throttle on something, that thing could send you for a drifting. loop, I imagine. He was drifting his kid's quad. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, we caught a ridge and here we are. Yeesh. Yeesh.
tires spun on loose gravel caught a rock wheel speed was about 60 kilometers gps speed about two oof Alrighty, Josh, thanks for coming in, hanging out here. Have a good night, bud. Have a good night, Josh. I'm gonna go ahead and get my edges cleaned up here a little bit. Have a good night, Josh. Appreciate you, buddy. You know that? that is true, Charles. I love a good-looking motorcycle, but you'll never catch me on one. See, the thing is, is like, my in-laws are going on a, like, three-week trip here. Uh, okay. Canada with our pastor. Oh, um, yeah. And I'm not worried about them driving. Yeah. I'm worried about other people. <laughs> oh, man. It's ridiculous how little people, or little attention people pay to motorcycles. Yeah. yeah. Like, we have an ad campaign that runs on TVs and YouTube and things like that to be like, hey, it's motorcycle season, you idiots, so keep, keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. And like, you know what else kind of bugs me is the people that, like, mow their grass into the roadway. Oh. Because they don't, like, they just don't, for whatever reason, think that it's an issue for them to do that. They don't want to pick it up. Right. And then they're, like, they don't, they're not aware of, like, what can come out of that shoot. Well, it's, <laughs> it's not like... just that, but grass on the roadway for motorcycles can be oh, man. just as deadly as a car crash. Yeah, it's like a banana peel almost. Like, the effect of it's the same. Right. And yeah, I could see how that would be a huge issue. Like, it's not just the cosmetic reason, right? For something flying and dinging you in, like, in the car. Like, right. Like, growing up, when I had to mow the lawn, and I was on the riding lawnmower, my dad was very adamant. He's like, when you are mowing the grass at the street, you point that chute to the yard. Yeah. Because you don't want to put it on the street. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Didn't think much of it till now. Yeah. So it's like, I thought it was just a general courtesy, but the safety thing makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Trio, you're not wrong, bud. <laughs> what did somebody once tell me? It's like, the more we try and idiot-proof the world... The world will always continue making better idiots. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. wanted to see Detroit, but I'm not sure if I want to these days. Right. Not unless I can go packed. <laughs> I can go packed. Well, I, I'd like my APC, thank you very much. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Or an M1A1. <laughs> Something armored, for sure. MC not necessarily... Bravo. <laughs> Not necessarily weaponized, but you know. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's right, Keith. They sure are. <laughs> What's this safety mechanism? We'll just bypass it. Yeah, right. Can you see that limit switch? Just tape it down. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways. <laughs> but how many of us have taken the carpentry tool, right? Like the air nailer. Keith, I know you have. And held back that little safety trigger and fired off shots at the fence lines. Shh. We'll give away the trade secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll tell you, I, I, I did a dumb thing, oh, I want to say, a number of years ago, I was putting attic stairs in my buddy's house, and I stuck a four-inch stainless steel screw through my thumb, and then two weeks later, I shot a 23-gauge pin nail through the same thumb. Oh, your poor thumb. I was speaking tongues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you think? Like, literally. It was a different set of tongues, but it was tongues nonetheless. <laughs> yep. Holy moly. Oh. I'm still reeling at the four-inch screw. Yeah. Stuck it, stuck it the whole way through. Like twisted it through and everything? Yep. Came right oh. out the other oh. side. Oh! No, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I find it bad enough when I smash my thumb with a hammer when I'm trying to drive a nail and I'm not paying attention, but like, dang, buddy. Dang. Yep. Oh. And Raymond, yes, I can only imagine the things that you have seen in that area, living that close to Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, it's And depending on your choice. age, <laughs> you would have seen it maybe in its heyday to its falling point. It tickled. That is for <laughs> sure. I've cut my finger on a job site. Brand new white <laughs> <Yeah>. carpet. <laughs> Buckle up, Trio. You're not done doing stupid things yet. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that level's out maybe around 25, 27. Yeah, if Depending then. on who your friends are. If then. <laughs> because if you got friends like Johnny Knoxville and uh, Steve-O, it never stops. <laughs> Virtual friends are still friends, Trio. Yes. Alrighty, we'll get the cows fed here. And call it a stream. Well, probably is Niels still streaming yeah. there, guys? Uh, let's see. All right, awesome. We just grab a couple more of these bales, and then uh, we'll call that a call that a night. I don't have Neil's link. Otherwise, I would plop it down. That's all right. I'll get one of them too. All righty.
Trio, can you throw Neil's live stream link in chat for me, bud? Alrighty, good. Save that. Guys, thank you so, so much for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And uh, remember, guys, it's better be jaked up than jacked up. Alrighty. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and rate our good friend Neil's. Let them know Jake sent you, and uh, we will catch you guys in the next one. Jake out. Love y'all. Have a good night, everybody.